Ivy here and today I just wanted to talk to you guys about something really simple and easy that you can do the next time that you find yourself overthinking, ruminating, um, or just stuck in thought loops that you can't get out of. And I think all humans instinctively know how to do this. We just forget or our lives get too busy and we don't slow down enough to remember how to just feel our feelings. And one thing that I think is really interesting is, you know, we're having like a really good positive experience. We don't think about it and think about it and think about it. We don't rehearse it. We don't hash it out. We just experience the positive feeling. We experience how good it feels in our body to have a positive experience. We do not get attached to the narrative of why it is happening. We very rarely get attached to what it means about us as human beings. We have a really great experience, like a super fun birthday, and we just show up for that. We just feel it, it moves through us, and we don't hook on to any aspect of it. And so we tend not to ruminate over really positive things that happen. We do ruminate over what we would maybe consider negative things happening. So that's mostly what I want to talk about today. So if you find yourself having the same thought over and over again, and it's like two in the morning and you can't fall asleep, the best thing you can do is drop out of your mind, out of your brain, out of your thoughts, and check in with your body, see what's going on there. So what tends to happen is we have a feeling that comes up, it feels kind of unpleasant, shame, embarrassment, guilt, anger, anxiety, frustration tend to be, I think, the hardest ones for human beings. And instead of just feeling the feeling in our body and just acknowledging that it's there and acknowledging that it's just energy, again, thoughts, feelings, sensations, just energy in our body. And instead of just dropping down into us and feeling it and acknowledging it and observing it and making space for it, we do this thing where we constrict it and we push it down or we try and distract ourselves and try and ignore the thing that's happening and then we stay up here in our brains and we try and analyze it or logic our way out of something that's just not designed to be analyzed out of our bodies. Our feelings and our experiences are designed to be felt and experienced and so the next time that you're having a hard time and you want to drop out of that feedback loop, See if you can find where the feeling is living in your body and then just feel what it feels like. Sometimes it has a form, sometimes it has a shape, sometimes it has a color, sometimes it's lodged somewhere, sometimes it moves. Every human experience we have has a different kind of blueprint for how it's stored in our nervous system and how it's stored in our bodies. So the best thing you can do is stay curious just observe what it feels like in your body. Let yourself have the feelings that you're having. And I almost promise you 100% of the time, those feelings are going to pass within a minute, maybe a minute and a half. That's really as long as it takes to move feelings through our nervous system. And then you are not going to be stuck in this overthinking feedback loop again. Um, sometimes I describe this as picking up a hitchhiker, you know, like shame is a really gnarly hitchhiker. And when we pick it up, sometimes we don't even realize we're doing it. And all of a sudden, shame's sitting in the back seat of our car. And uh, no matter how, we, how high we turn the volume up in our car or how fast we drive our car, shame's still kind of sitting in the back seat. We can kind of hear it just like snapping at us and talking to us and trying to get our attention. But the more we ignore it, the louder it has to get until you feel it. We are designed to feel all of our feelings without getting attached to why. So that means, again, dropping down into your body, seeing where you feel it at, feeling it, and then not getting attached to the story of why it's there, right? So instead of going, oh, I'm feeling shame. This must mean I'm a bad person. I did this bad thing. Just feel the feeling. It sounds so simple, and it is so simple, but we forget to just stop and feel what we're feeling. So the next time you wake up at 2 o'clock in the morning and you can't stop thinking about something, get out of your head, get into your body, feel the feeling, feel the sensations connected to it, and then kiss those feelings goodbye because they are going to go. Okay, hope that was helpful, and more to come later. Bye-bye.